Welcome back. So this time we got an Eclipse uh, number 955 uh, demagnetizer. You switch it on and uh, you can demagnetize screwdrivers and things like that. Generally tools. Just put it on here and uh, it demagnetizes it. This is actually magnetic. Um, I didn't plug it in because if I buy this stuff I usually check it first and it has no continuity so we need to check what's going on um, I think we need to remove that cover and have a look inside so let's take those screws out and see what it does well we got them out some were quite stiff because this is die cast or so and uh, we corroded into it but when I opened it I thought oh dear uh, someone had <laughs> and you can see there is a spark mark I don't know if it's visible so it had sparked already uh, it's been mangled together with uh, tape and uh, yeah it was a good idea not to turn it on so let's see if it has any conductivity inside at least we got about 30 ohms which is okay I think so it's not dead. Someone put some new uh, ties on here, but this is just an old piece of cable here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna remove that and probably the switch is faulty. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna turn that on in this condition. <laughs> it may most likely spark. All right, let me check that. All right, that's how it looks like. Uh, not very convincing but the switch is dead it doesn't work anymore so we need a new switch I have one but it's a bit big it's been long actually so and the connections are underneath so I need to find another one which is a bit more convenient for that um, find something <laughs> as usual we got trillions of switches but they're all new style small ones um, I need to look around, maybe I have an older one somewhere. But nothing here at least. Uh, yeah, it seems to be electrically okay, there is no short to the housing. So all we need to do is sorting that switch out and then we're probably okay to good to go. It's these black old style ones, I don't know if you know them. Uh, this is a really old one. but. Uh, they still make them in a different style, about the same size, contacts here, single pole, but um, made from something non... This is... Yeah, that's this paper stuff here, and uh, it's getting moist, and then you get all sorts of issues, and you can see there was... It was getting hot. So we need a new switch, uh, I just have no idea where I got one. I'm pretty sure I have something, uh, I need to have a look. This new camera drives me nuts. Um, okay, we got the switch in, and you can see there was some sparking here. Um, we put some heat shrink on, solder it on, um, job done. Should be long enough. We need to turn it around a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it from this one. Sorry for the shaky one, but uh, apparently the other camera doesn't like it. Uh, still probably low in charge, 
still 0.25 amp, it doesn't charge anymore. Right, um, let's uh, solve that and we'll come back, hopefully with the other camera. Well, you can't use heat shrink, but uh, I don't know if that's visible, the, the insulation plate goes here. Uh, the problem is if I come from this side, uh, it's actually fouling here, so I need to solder it from the side as the looks are actually intended to and we just put that um, insulation paper thing on this side and it, we should be fine okay let's solder that no idea why the new camera still doesn't work uh, so we soldered it just put that down here and put the cover back on looks all good to me if it touches it touches the same pin so all right to me let's close it and check it i'm actually fed up with a new camera uh, apparently it filmed it but this, the audio is miserable you can't really understand it so we've done it we fit fixed it and uh, turn it on and uh, then you just put your bits on there uh, get rid of the magnetism is a collecting chips if you're magnetic. It doesn't take long, just a few seconds. And so on. Yeah, well, if we do the box of the drills and uh, make sure we don't have any more, we don't have any more magnetic bits here. Alright, that's it from this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, until next time.